Well, John Salarco, it's great to see you down here for another AFC Wimbledon Business Club event. Fixture release day still generates that excitement, doesn't it? Yeah, it's one you look forward to. I know the Premier League fixtures came out, and then obviously the league fixtures have come out today. Um, and everyone, fans, players, um, will, will you know be anticipating who they're going to have first game, first away game, first home game. And then obviously Christmas is always a big time when people are planning um, their travel plans and being around and around the family. And you know it's such a wonderful time. So it's a great festive period. Um, New Year's Day, where we we home or away. Um, I think you're lucky enough to be at home on Boxing Day, so locally. And then, obviously, the games towards the end of the season are always crucial, just to see how you're going to end up, whether you're, you're chasing promotion or or maybe just looking to get some safety. So those three at the end are always important. You got involved in another business club event down here as well. It's, it's so important for this club to sort of engage with the local community, isn't it, ahead of their return to Plough Lane? Yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful club and it's, it's such an incredible story. And, you know, I absolutely love Ivor. Uh, met him and you know he's, he's infectious you know he's got great enthusiasm and you can see how he's built this uh, right from the Wombles on the Wimbledon Common you know through to what, what is now and it's great to see AFC fighting their way back you know League One the stadium is what two years away looks incredible it, it's going to be fantastic so you know the club's just on the up you know speaking to Neil Ardley there he's very excited looking forward to new season uh, he's going to have to wheel and deal. Uh, he needs to get some strikers in. I think goals were the main issue last year, and he, as he said, maybe the culture of the of the team, the setup, the characters in there, and that's the important thing as a manager is to get that balance right, get that unity, um, and certainly I think defensive structures there just need to bang goals in. So I think that's what Neil will be working hard on in the next couple of weeks is to get a couple of strikers in who are going to score the goals, and you know. Hopefully, once you're looking, if you start well and you're looking down, then the confidence just flows throughout the team, and, and you never know what you can achieve from there. So, I think when you start slowly, it's always a tough battle to try and to try and get yourself anywhere near that mid table. But hopefully, it'll be a great start, and uh, Neil can be the right end of the table um, this year, this season. And uh, you never know; it could be challenging for those playoff spots. Turning the clock back, you can remember your battles, of course, Crystal Palace and Wimbledon over the years. Yeah. Yourself and Neil, of course, you, you can remember some of those those occasions. Yeah, I mean, Neil would have been a young lad um, coming through, but he was a cultured, you know, right midfielder. Um, not so much, I, I mean, I was more of a winger. He was more of a right midfielder, you know, more of a David Beckham, you know, cultured right foot, you know, good technically, great crosser of the ball, good on deck set plays, great engine, um, just a really nice lad. Um, you know, some you know playing against Wimbledon in the early days was fiery, to say the least. I mean, Vinny tried to do me a few times. He he didn't take any prisoners. So you had to keep an eye on Vinny. He was a bit naughty. Um, Fash, he was you know he could you know elbows. You didn't want to play against Fash. He he was um, and of course Dennis was a little Rottweiler. And, <laughs> but you know, for me, you had people like Phelan. He was quick. I mean, Keith Curl. Roger Joseph at right back and, and Warren Barton, you know, John Scales, and they were all good players. And they were all quick. And, you know, that's one thing I, you know, they were all so fast, you know. So, you, you know, we always loved playing against uh, Wimbledon because it was a battle. You know, you had Righty, Brighty, Jeff Thomas, Sandy Gray, you know, South London. We all went, you know, full throttle, just like Millwall were with Hoyerlock and, and those boys and Sheringham and Cascarino and those guys, you know, they were a tough team, they were tough boys. And But Wimbledon took it to another level and, you know, sort of. Premier League and winning the FA Cup it's, it's scary really I mean it was just such a fantastic time in both Palace and Wimbledon's histories and just as Bobby Gordon Dave Bassett did with Wimbledon producing players that's what Neil's trying to do here now isn't he? Yeah I mean that's what he's got to do he's got to get a bit of luck um, it's such a rich catchment area um, London uh, especially this south south side of London um, so you know they, it's, it's vital that you put you know plenty of resources and energies into the academy because the way football's gone, you know, not going to be able to go out and spend 20, 30 million pounds on a player, even say 10. And, you know, I'm just sort of having a laugh with Neil there, sort of saying, what's your budget? How much have you got in the kitty? And he's like, you know, it's like, there isn't a lot. Because, you know, one of the great things about the about AFC is that, you know, you run, you know, on a, on a tight budget and you keep yourself within parameters and you don't overspend. There must be so many clubs that are, you know, pushing the boat out. And if it doesn't work, they, they, you know, they, they could potentially leave themselves open to lots of financial problems uh, down the line. So I think it's, it's, it's brilliant the way the clubs run and it's kept very much in, 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 um, in the black. So, you know, going forward, the future's bright. And obviously, if Neil can bring one or two gems in and take them forward, um, 
one taking the club forward, but if you can sell, find a gem and sell them for sort of 10, 15 million, that's uh, happy days, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And of course, they're going to start against Joey Barton at Fleetwood Town. And yes. Last season with League One, of course, they had Blackburn and Wigan. This season, it's Sunderland and your old club, Coventry, as well. It's really competitive again, isn't it? Yeah, great to see Coventry get back in. Uh, they've had a disastrous period. It just shows you when, you know, the club isn't run right and uh, it has internal problems, how bad it can get. So it's great to see Coventry back. Sunderland in the Premier League, what, <laughs> sort of 14 months ago, it's quite scary isn't it, how a massive club like that is uh, again in, in League One, and it just shows you if you don't pay attention and you're not fully focused, you can easily get into trouble down in that Championship and be in League One, so it'd be great going up there, won't it, to, to Stadium of Light and vice versa, you know, full house down here. Um, playing against big teams like that and, and big players, so that that's part of the inspiration. Um, so I'm sure Neil and the boys will deal with it well. Absolutely, and of course you were here for the launch of the AFC Women of Business Club. You've come down here again today for this fixture release event. You're going to keep keeping an eye and keeping tabs on Wimbledon, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I did. I, I sort of threatened to, to get down last year and it didn't. I sort of got busy, but Ivor's brilliant. I mean, he's always sort of said, you know, welcome to come down, and I definitely will come and and uh, you know, sort of support the team um, and see how they're doing. It's great being with the business club. It's just such a lovely family club. It's a lovely area, um, warm. Uh, you know, and the business is coming, and they're, they're great lads. It's what I enjoy about it really um, is meeting such nice people. And you know, I look forward to just being involved and in, and in going forward. And you know, there is life after football, so to speak. But it's nice to dovetail it with a bit of football. Well, John, it's great catching up with you. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Absolute pleasure.